The American Cancer Society has spent a century fighting the most frightening disease. 2013 is their 100th birthday of saving and changing lives. I'm joined this morning by a local breast cancer survivor. Now, for the past 36 years, she has been volunteering on various boards with the American Cancer Society down here in the Keys. I'm warning you now that her passion for putting an end to cancer is so contagious. And it's a pleasure having you here with me I'm this so morning. I'm so happy to be here <laughs> and hope that I can give the news about what the ACS does. Well, I know that the American Cancer Society is so important to you. Before we get into that, though, Anne, I'm noticing that your hair is pink, <laughs> <laughs> and it's fabulous. I love it. What made you decide to dye your hair we, pink? Uh, our church team, the Key West United Methodist team, I felt that we needed a project to make extra money besides uh, cooking all the time, and one mm -hmm. of our, uh, our church secretary suggested that I dye my hair pink. Mm -hmm. So I said, well, that would have to be, I'd have to think about it, and that would have to be at least $2,000. <laughs> so she got her hairdresser to do it free. Okay. And did you raise the $2,000? I have doubled that. It's up over 4000 and I am just amazed, and it, it just amazes me that people have donated that for my pink care. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> and, of course, all this money is going back to the American Cancer uh, Society. Yes, by all means. <laughs> and now, Anne, you have been a breast cancer survivor for 37 yes. years. That's awesome. Yes. And I know that things have really changed since you were diagnosed 37 years ago. Yes, they didn't have all of the treatments that they have now. It was uh, maybe one out of 10 as a survivor and I'm the one out of the 10 for them. Whereas today it's two out of three and we're so happy and hopefully one day it'll be three out of three. Awesome. And I believe that it can be, you know, yes. people like you, Anne, who volunteer with the American Cancer Society, help raise money. You're, you're making a difference. And I know that it's, it's so important to you and, and Relay for Life specifically. Mm -hmm. It's something you've done for how many years? 18 years 18. that we have had it in uh, Monroe County. It started out in the Panhandle the first time mm -hmm. and we were the second one in the state of Florida to have a Relay. Great. And now, Ann, what made you decide to get involved with the American Cancer Society? Because when I had my surgery, there was no one here to tell me what I needed or where I could get it. Mm -hmm. No one no one was giving you any answers after you got it? No. Wow. So didn't you I just mean, feel you so look, alone? Yes. Mm -hmm. wow. And you didn't want to look different. Right. Right. So I went to Miami for training uh, through the American Cancer Society and do, uh, train for the program they call Reach to Recovery. Mm -hmm. And that is counseling women as to uh, how to take care of themselves and where they can get products. Now, at our office here, we have a room full of wigs, we have bras, and some prosthesis, and it is all given to them free. It's no cost to them at all. Wow, so right after their surgery, they can visit. Well, as soon as their doctor tells them that, mm -hmm. uh, that we can see them and they can wear regular bras. Okay, so because you didn't have that, you feel like it's so important for you oh, yes, to participate absolutely. in it. absolutely. That's my passion is mm -hmm. to help others and throughout the years I've had women come to see me and say you gave me hope and that always brings me to tears. <laughs> That's amazing Anne. I mean, well you your passion for what you do it is contagious and it's it's great because you're an inspiration to those women who might be diagnosed with breast cancer right now because you're a survivor and you're doing just mm -hmm. fine. Yes. <laughs> pink hair and all. Yes, pink hair and all. <laughs> and, and as I said, we didn't uh, have all of the treatments or medicine back then. So mm -hmm. I was very fortunate that I got it right away. 
great. And now, Anne, the big thing is this coming Friday, Relay for Life oh, is yes. taking place here in Key West. Yes, our uh, 18th Relay for Life, and we have 35 teams out there. Mm -hmm. Oh, 35 teams, and your team has already raised $4,000. So. No, we've raised over 9000 9000 yes. Oh, just you alone, yes. you've raised yes. over that. Yes. So that's great, and the community is welcome to come this oh, Friday. We want everyone to come and see how it's done, and uh, a lot of most of the money stays here for uh, things that we need here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Here, with the American Cancer yes, Society. Yes. All right, and the big question before we go today: Are you going to dye your hair pink again? She's going to touch it up Friday to <laughs> make it oh. brighter for Relay, yes. Okay, and then it down the line? I don't know. I'll have to think about that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I have a granddaughter that's getting married in July, and they think it's kind of neat if Grandma would come with pink hair, so I, think I don't so know. Too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Anne, thank you for being on with uh, me this morning. Well, I certainly enjoyed it, and I have really enjoyed this pink hair episode, really. <laughs> well, you sport it very well. I'm going to take a quick break right now, but I'll be right back after these messages. Stay with me, everyone. <laughs>